Hi, so my name's Aaron. I will be your new teacher this fall semester. And I am at the Salt Flats here in Utah. It's very close to the Utah-Nevada border. Essentially what you're seeing behind me, those mountains in the distance, that's Nevada. Um, those are my grandkids. Anyway, so yeah, I'm teaching you guys this fall. It's uh, English ENC 1101. And it'll be interesting. Now, we're gonna have a face-to-face -face class. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work yet. It's still July here. Oh, and by the way, the reason I came in the evening to the Salt Flats is because if you come during the day, it's like 130 degrees out here and it's like standing on an oven. But right now it's really comfortable. You see all these other people out enjoying the salt flats in the evening because it's the best time to come here. And so you can see kind of turning around, you can see more. Anyway, the so this class in the fall, it'll be interesting. Um, here are the things you need to know. My name is Aaron Guile. My uh, email address is A-G-U-I-L-E 2019 at F-A-U um, I do have office hours. I think I'm going to do them between um, 1.30 and 3.30 um, in the afternoons on Mondays and Tuesdays. I have class myself at 4 on Monday and Tuesday, and I have another class, um, which is also at four o'clock, but at another time during the week, so no big deal for you guys, which that means I'm also a student. See, I'm not a professor. I'm a student of English at FAU. I study poetry. Uh, I'm pursuing a Master of Fine Arts degree in uh, poetry and writing, creative writing, writing poetry. And uh, my scholarship is typically in uh, comic studies, poetry, and, uh, you know, science fiction, which is, if you didn't know, FAU is a great school for. Um, here are some things you're going to want to bring to class. When you come to class, you're going to want to bring the emerging books. It's on the website, and I'll make sure and include the details in the bottom of the video here. So emerging contemporary reading, readings for writers. And then you'll want to bring the elements of 1101 and 1102. You'll want to bring that book. And then you'll want to bring your pocket handbook. That book has your MLA information in there. Uh, it's All three of those are pretty good books. You want, And you'll use them for the next year. Make sure and bring those. Now there's another thing that the, live, the bookstore wants you to buy. Uh, it's called the, um, what is that thing called? Anyway, eh, we're not using it. It's a, it's a computer-based literacy program. We're not using it. Uh, it's, I didn't find it very helpful last year, so we're not using it. Um, and then you, there are two pe free pieces of software that you want to make sure and have. The first one is called Genius Scan. So what that does is it allows you to take pictures of little things that you hand write. And we'll be doing classroom writing at least once or twice a week. Whether you are in class or not, you'll still have to do it. And then Genius Scan, you take a picture of it, it uploads it as a PDF, and then you email me that document. And the other one is called Evernote. Evernote is note-taking software. And I'm gonna show you how to use Evernote to help you do research and help you write your papers and take notes, stuff like that. So I did want to let you know my core philosophy on writing and how to be a good writer. I mean, that's what you guys want to do, right? Your whole point of taking English at college is to become a good writer because you guys are going to have to, you know, take your history classes your chemistry classes and they're going to make you write papers. 
And so my job is to help you learn how to write them well. And so in order to be a good writer for college, you have to write a lot. And so if there's a downside to this class, I make you write a lot. The upside, last semester, 45% of my students got A's, A minuses or A's. If you do the work, I will give you an A. If you skip stuff, eh, I won't. The only people who failed last semester are people who never came to class and never turned in homework. So everybody who turned in homework, everybody who wrote papers, everybody who worked hard, they got good grades. Almost everybody got B's and A's. I only gave out a few C's. Most people did really well. And that's my plan for you guys. So by the time you see me again, I probably will have a haircut. I'll have trimmed my beard a little bit. I won't be in Utah anymore. I'll be back in Florida over at the Boca Raton. And I know we're going to have a good semester. We'll work hard. We'll learn how to write. And we'll have a good time doing it. And if you ever come out to Utah to do anything, this is a good place to come. Just to see it. To say you did it. Even if you come to Utah to ski, you can still come to the Salt Flats. I came out here uh, one year in January. The whole state was covered in snow. There was no salt, uh, snow on the Salt Flats and it was still 80 degrees because of how hot it gets here on the, on the ice, on the snow. Oh, it's snow. <laughs> on the salt. So that's the deal. I'll see you guys later. And we will have a good semester. See you this fall. Bye.